I'm not the bad guy for not removing the Disney items from my house. My husband and I are what are you will call Disney adults. We used to work for the parks in college and meet there. For us, it has sentimental value as well as being something we both loved from childhood. Now we are conscious to not be those Disney adults who can hold conversation outside the movies and parks. We both work while playing jobs unrelated to the company. We have other hobbies and interests. Our son isn't big on Disney, and we are cool with that. It is just something that we enjoy, as well as our dog. We nurture all of children's hobbies and interests. We also don't blow all our money on the stuff. I know I may sound overly defensive, but we got a lot of comments from people who don't know us well. Anyway, we live in a renovated farmhouse on a bit of land that includes a barn that we finished off with hoppers to make it a guest house one day. In the meanwhile, we have had a relative get married here and it was gorgeous. Now my sister wants to get married on our property and we were all for it. Everything been planned for months and the wedding is in June. It's said to be outside completely, but if it rains, we can move the party into the barn. The only reason a guest will have to go in our house is to use the bathroom. We have two on the first floor. The only Disney items are Winnie the Pooh. I told my sister I will replace them with regular ones. Wedding space has no Disney items. However, she wants me to take down everything Disney on the first floor of my house, as guests will see. We have a lot of Disney items, pictures, paintings, blankets, Funko Pops, decorations, figures, and dishware, and etc. All made for adults, and a lot of it subtle or vintage. But you can still tell it's Disney. One, this will be a massive undertaking. It's not as simple as showing stuff in a closet. We'd have to pack it up and find a place to store. The sheer amount will require at least two hours of packing, not to mention storage and unpacking after. Two, it's ridiculous to me. Who cares if people see? She says it looked tacky and she doesn't want people to remember her wedding for that. We're letting her use our property for free, which she keeps bragging about to friends as it's saving them a ton. When my husband and I stood firm, she winked to our parents, who told us to grow up and take it down. So, what do you think about it? I'm the bad guy for selling my daughter's car. I have a son and a daughter. I like both of my kids equally, however, they are different individuals with different lives, so I help them based on their needs. My son did not do well in high school and went to a community college and decided it was not for him after a semester and eventually settled on HVAC. We had issues sticking to things, so as a reward, when he became certified in HVAC, I bought him a brand new truck as a gift. My daughter got in a good college, out of state, and was always more academically minded. It's about to finish HS. 
It came to a surprise to me that she had taken in for granted that I would also get her a new car even though I never say that. I explained that there will be no need for a college girl in a big city to have a car. She taken and asked if I could help with tuition. I don't know pay for trade school either so I declined. Eventually, she seemed down so I offered to buy a used car in my name and she could use it for a while until I decided to sell it because she will have to maintain it. She seems really happy, which that's so we got an all 99 BMW for really cheap. The body was in good condition, but the engine and transmission needed work and it needed painting. She did the essential fixes first, but then slowly did unnecessary ones, even though I never asked for that and repainted most of the car and had the interior detailed. When she came back for a visit this week after finishing her finals, I decided it was time to sell the car and list it. She seems upset with me even though we had agreed to it and I never asked her to repair the car. She said she thought I was going to sell it much later when it's rusted or something. She also said I can sell it more expensive because of her fixes. But the reality is I got the car just before the pandemic and used cars cost a lot more since then. That is why I can sell it for more. I offered to pay her back for the half of the paint work. So, am I the bad guy? Am I the bad guy for telling my parents I wouldn't be at their wedding because of my weight? Hello, just for some context, I'm female, 30, and I'm 412 pounds, and I'm 5 feet 2 inches. Yeah, that isn't a joke, and I wish it was. I've always been big. I was 280 pounds at 18. And I've always been an overeater. But when I left the college and I had a lot of money and my parents weren't there to stop me. And yeah, you can guess how I gained a lot of weight. This isn't really relevant, just backstory, I guess. Anyway, my parents are getting married in July. I was invited to come at the beginning of the year and I accepted. But recently, I'm having second thoughts. I already spend a lot of time with my parents when I can. So this isn't because I don't love them or anything like that. Because they are honestly lovely people and the best parents I could ever ask for, but honestly, I'm not going because of my weight. It's going to be full of family friends who I haven't seen in years, so it will make my weight gain extra embarrassing and noticeable. On top of that, I'm just genuinely really ugly. Really fancy clothes will look terrible on me and I don't want to be at the event where a lot of people will see me even though the focus isn't on me. I only leave my apartment when I really have to, so going to a huge event seems overwhelming. I really wish I could go, but I've thought about this a lot and the only thing I will be able to think about is everybody else and not my parents so I don't want to make a big deal and ruin the day of the wedding. Last night I went and visited their house and I told them about it and I said I'm really sorry. They were shocked and my dad looked upset and stabbed outside because he said he didn't want to be part of this conversation anymore. My mom got angry and told me that I'm betraying them. 
and that I'm going to look like an embarrassment. She told me that I deserve to look like this and she won't be there to help me when I end up eating myself to death at 30. And that I have ruined our relationship. I know this stuff that she's saying is just out of danger, but I feel so awful about it. I've tried to call her this morning and she won't respond. And neither will my dad. So, am I the bad guy? Am I the bad guy for telling my parents and my husband that I don't want to name my daughter after the sister I never knew? My parents has a daughter before me, Summer. She was born with cancer and died when she was only five weeks old. I was born two years later. And her memory was very strong throughout my life. My parents weren't great parents to me because they were still in very heavy grief and it made our relationship complicated. I remember they cried on her birthday every year. And they also cried on most of mine, and she was mentioned at every celebration. I remember for a while really wanted to hear more about her, but at some point, all the mentions of her were too much. It felt suffocating, and I felt less important. When they had met new people summer with the child they mentioned first, and the one they talked most about. Someone will ask what grade I was in or how old I was. And they will say Summer will be in 4th grade or Summer will be having a 13th today. When I graduated high school, I asked that my parents not to mention Summer during the celebration after. We had a dinner with family and a couple of my friends, but not a full-blown party. And they were so angry at me for wanting summer forgotten. I took some time for them in college, but was wrecking with guilt and we ended up back in touch. I got married to my husband Kale last year and now we are expecting a girl. My parents brought up how amazing it will be for us to name our daughter Summer and my husband was 100% on board. He was pretty much agreeing before I had a chance to react. When I did talk to him, he was shocked. I had any doubts and was ready to go full steam ahead. I told him I wanted our daughter to have her own name and I didn't want her to carry the weight of the summer who never got the chance to grow up and so was all her grandparents really wanted to talk about. He said he understood, but to think of how loved our daughter will be. And he knows I think Summer is a beautiful name, because I do, but the history. I told my parents I wanted my daughter to have her own name, and they cried. They didn't really comment. They then asked me, was I going to change my mind? This was a few days after, and I said no. But then my parents and a husband were talking and wanted to try and change my mind. They brought a list of pros to me and why our daughter should be summer, and I told them I disagreed with the list. They argued back and told me the summer deserves to be honored. I said my daughters deserve to live life as herself. Kale said she will still be able to, and the name isn't that uncommon that my sisters will be the only person to think of. My parents told me to think of what my sister would want and how I love my sister and miss her every day. For some reason, that broke me. I started to cry out of nowhere and told the three of them I don't want to name my daughter after a sister I never knew. I'm totally sure what happened directly after I was so upset. 
But Kel and my parents think I was cruel to say it like that. Write in the comments below what do you think. Am I the bad guy for not letting my boyfriend back into my apartment? I'm currently house training my puppy. He's great about holding and sleeping through the night as long as it's a calm environment. My boyfriend stays over every weekend. He knows my schedule and how I have been operating. Last Saturday, my boyfriend wanted to go downtown to hang out with his friends on a rooftop bar. I decided to stay home. He asked if he could come back to sleep over or not. And I said he could as long as he didn't come home super late. He said he wouldn't be long. We'll be back by 8 p.m. He left around noon and left his backpack here since he wouldn't be returning. I didn't hear from him all the day until about 7 p.m. when boyfriend said he was leaving soon. Then for the next three hours my boyfriend kept saying he will be leaving soon or getting ready to leave. He wouldn't lie and say he was walking to the train but then... 45 minutes later, when he still wasn't here, I messaged to see where he was and he said they were still hanging out. This behavior was triggering for reasons. I won't get into bases on past incidents and I felt like he was freaking me around. At 10 p.m. I was really aggravated and felt like Hatika waiting around. Also, I didn't want my puppy to wake up and get excited, confused, plus potentially have an accident when my boyfriend's trolling the good knows what time and then I will have to take him out. We are in a night routine that had been working for us and I don't want to mess with it. So when my boyfriend said yet again, getting on a train soon, I texted back and said, don't come back here. Go home. I'm going to sleep. My boyfriend did not reply. The next day, he came to get his back and left without saying a word. Afterwards, he texted me saying I left him stranded and just ripping me to streets. Since then, I haven't heard from him. I've been a week and I'm getting the silent treatment. After thinking about it, I realized he must have left his house keys in his backpack. How was I know? I wish he had just told me that instead of immediately turning silent on Saturday night when I told him not to come back here, I would have left his back outside my door if he needed his keys. So, the lack of communication and immediately turning sullen, I don't get. So, am I the bad guy? I kind of feel like a witch based on my boyfriend's treatment on me right now. So, maybe I was being unnecessarily harsh and unreasonable, but write in the comments below, please.